In this video, I'll show you how I listen to podcasts and take notes from them using Microsoft OneNote. I use OneNote because that's what I use currently for my GTD, my getting things done system. There's going to be more videos on that. And if we click on Pocket Cast, that's currently the app I use to listen to my podcast. I paid a couple dollars for it, but I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, since the considering the amount of hours we listen to podcasts and it's a one-time fee so I think it's something around four dollars for hundreds of hours of education and entertainment I think that's definitely worth it if we click on it we have the Huberman Lab podcast that's a podcast I've been listening to lately it's great it's a bunch of university lectures on neuroscience and they're very practical and they're not made for university students they're made for the general public so if we click on the latest episode how to lose fat with science-based tools the 21st episode we can hit play welcome to the huberman lab podcast where we discuss science and science-based tools for everyday life Okay, so let's say we had some great insight here. And obviously not, it's the first few seconds, but the point is that we can take notes for podcasts. So if you click share at the bottom here, you have three options. You can share the entire podcast, so that would be good if you're sharing it to people, or you can share the specific episode. The option that we're gonna want to use most often is the current position. It saves the exact seconds of the podcast so you can go back and listen to that little bit on what you took a note on and if i click current position it opens up all the sharing options and at the top you have to send it to specific contacts but at the bottom left you have share it with OneNote. again i use OneNote for my gtd system so i'm going to click on OneNote. you can save it as an image or not so for example, if you don't save it as an image, it's just gonna be a text. I usually save it as an image. It's like a thumbnail and it includes the episode and whatnot. But really what we want to do here is click the little down arrow. And by default, it goes to my GTD quick notes. So that's my inbox tree. And I can go in and add a note. So for example, if I wanted to write science based tools, for example, that's the note, then I just click save and it saves it to OneNote. Now I can go in OneNote and I'm in my GTD folder. I can right click on GTD, sync, sync this notebook and the note should appear within 30 seconds or so. Microsoft doesn't have the best syncing, but they've been working on it recently. Sometimes you might also have to go on your phone app and sync both notebooks, but usually it does it by itself. But here I synced my phone and you see at the bottom, it's the science-based tool. So let's click on it. Here you can see that we have the note at the top, science-based tools, whatever we wanted to write. We have the time we took the note, which is kind of neat, the time and date. But most importantly, you have the link you have all this information this is just a picture it's more of a thumbnail but the link is where the information is because we can re-listen to the bit we wanted to so if i click on it it brings us to an internet page with a player within pocket cast so now i can send this to my friends i can download the whole episode and whatnot so for this specific example it was starting to play at seven seconds because i've just listened to the intro but you can see how this is useful because you don't have to take a full note. You can just do a bullet point and listen to the audio if you ever want to refer back to it. If you scroll down, you also have all the timestamps, which is a great way to refer back to an episode. Just one more meta point here. If you were wondering how I recorded my phone and mirrored my screen I'm using your phone companion and it works with Microsoft. So with my Samsung S20, it works great. Of course, this isn't the best way to do things. It's just one way that I found to work for me since I was already using OneNote. Please let me know in the comments if you have other ways that you found that worked for you. If you've enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna enjoy the other 
OneNote videos and GTD videos and whatnot, you're gonna see them appear on the screen at the end of this video. If you wanna support this channel, the best way to do so currently is to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, but really it's to share the content with your family and friends, anyone who you think might find it useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with Do The Work.